<laughs> a glossary for non pentecostals Tongue talk, verb. The flapping chatter of God's spirit as he lights mouths on fire. See also glossolalia and holy ghost. We talk funny here. Like, not quite syllabic here. Like, when God starts whipping through the congregation, you'd think beneath my suit jacket there's a tiny madman grunting victory chants at me, say, jumble mouth. Shaka, adjective. The kind of service in which women dance bobby pins out of their hair and men crumble like clay pigeons to the floor. It is characterized by the fall. When I brought my roommate to church with me, it was shout down and tongue talk. Well, it's always tongue talk, but after service was over, he turns to me and says, you know, most denominations think glossolalia died with the early church. And even though we've just seen an old man throw down his walker like it's peripheral, he is doubt mouth, drought mouth, leave your exegesis at the welcome mat of your wisdom teeth, say, Respect doesn't translate as easily as you think. Holy Roman. Now, the worshiper who, overcome by God's spirit, falls flailing to the floor. And I want to say to him, imagine every mouth is a matchstick and every body a carved flute. When the match ignites, it coaxes the most beautiful song from the belly like living water. Now, picture sanctuaries full of this symphony. Dancers bending, the aquifers under so many eyes bursting open. It is spirit and mystery, it is cacophony and hurricane. This language is a thousand shouted secrets of love. It says forgiven, it says redeemed. It is the epicenter of your trembling limbs. It is the hot iron, holy rolling gyroscope of your chest. This, this is no dead language. It is the spirit of the living God whirring in me like a cyclone. If every mouth is a match, then I refuse to apologize for the times I have kissed flint and found myself mad with freedom and joy and God's spirit like the sweetest love song. It is fiercer than your criticism. It is more volatile than your disbelief. It clatters louder than your negation and it beckons for even you to come. In the stillest, smallest voice, I would explain it to you, but there are some barriers language cannot breach.